noises, but we're out here with Maya walking around. It's Friday, it's like almost noon, it's 11.52. <clears throat> I gotta, here comes a car, but I need to, I need to take some more video of the stuff I got last night while dumpster diving. I was videotaping, or, well, videotaping, kind of funny, because it's not on tape, like I was, I was saying that last night, but, um, I did have some videos going from looking at the dumpster, and I was at the Aldi dumpster, but then Sierra called, and after that, I, uh, after that I didn't end up doing any more videos of the d dumpster diving, but after that I did find, I found, um, I found stuff at a CVS, and I found stuff at Family Dollar, I found like a box of, um, I'll show it to you in a minute once I get back home, but I found a box of... Uh, it had like a whole bunch of Oreos, like Oreo Thins and Double Stuffs. This is Maya's friend. So I had a whole bunch of Oreos and uh, like those little chicken flavored crackers. And some more chips and holy. This is a whole bunch of junk that I really don't need. Come on. I found like a whole box of Kit Kats. I think they're either Easter or Valentine's Day Kit Kats. I can't remember. The packaging was pink, so I think they're probably Easter since that was the last holiday. Come on. You got friends in the window over there. Like a little white dog and another dog. But anyway, it's just a bunch of junk. And then I got some popcorn and random tidbits of medicine from, not like a whole bunch of medicine, but just like, it was like an organic senna and, um, colon cleanse or some crap. <laughs> just, I already ate some of the popcorn, there was, um, it was like black and white popcorn or something, that's what it was said in the packaging, so it was, Chocolate and white chocolate drizzled popcorn. Oh, there goes a squirrel. Hi, little squirrel. Hi, little squirrel. All right, here comes a car. Come on. Come on, let's keep going. Get across. Come on. Come on. Okay. You're free to go. So yeah, it seems like once I'm, once I don't have the camera on, I find a whole bunch of stuff. Because that's happened in the past where I was filming and going to all the dumpsters and didn't find anything, and then as soon as I didn't have a camera, 
I found stuff. Oh, there's one of your kitty friends. Be nice. I see this cat, and there's another cat like it, like a darker colored, like more gray. Come on. Be nice, you're scaring it away. Be nice. No, it's missing. It's gone now. Oh. Hi, kitty. Oh, can you see the cat? Maya, come on. You need to be nice. It's just trying to hang out at its house. She actually is doing pretty, like, okay. She wasn't running it off too much. There it goes. She's just interested. She has a cat at home, but she's kind of mean to that, mean to her sister cat. Which, I was just thinking about how she's mean around her food. And I need to give them some more of their chicken and rice, but when I made it last time, I made it with way too much rice, so it's like really sticky. So, I need to boil up a couple more of the chicken quarter, chicken leg quarters. It's like a thigh and a leg. Because Maya is spoiled and gets to eat real human chicken food and doesn't really, she's never ate dog food. Oh, come on, come, come on. You're making me say ope too much. There's a little animal. Come on. You can't have it. Let's go. Let's go. You're gonna choke yourself. Come on. Through the mud. Uh, couldn't have gone around that. Oh gosh. I can't imagine her in like a even a fifty pound dog body would be a lot of pulling. She's already pretty strong. And she's only a Chihuahua and Miniature Dachshund mix. She's not like a, a Rottweiler or a larger dog that's usually scary to people. Oh, all this mud. Come on. I didn't wear my tennis shoes. I just cleaned off my tennis shoes and thought about putting them on, but I knew she'd probably take us that way with all that mud. I know most people don't let their dogs dictate which way they go and where they go for the walk, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. If she wants to go around this block, we can go around this block. If she wants to go down the road to do a whole mile. We can. We're out here so she can go potty. So she can have fun.
Are you gonna go potty? I guess not. Come on. Here they are. Come on. Let's go to Warrior Island. friends again. That was a weird stance. Your friend Bishop. Your mean friend. Come on. He's like, get on my arm. Get out of my yard, you little bitch. I think he's jealous because Maya gets to walk around. He and his friends stay fenced in. Apparently they don't know how to drive, but anyway. Oh no. What this on that? I don't we got into it. Never mind, let's show them what we got. Oh yeah, I forgot I found three of these downy ultras. We don't we don't really use fabric softener. I bet these Kit Kats are melted. Yeah, they're Easter. They're Easter Kit Kats. Then, like I said, up on this box with multiple things of double stuff Oreos. I don't know if you can see that. These chicken crackers that just got the tape on them. Um, a couple things of goldfish, which I like. Some chips of Oreos. I found this, but I'm not about to give this to Maya. We'll probably donate this. I don't even know. I don't really trust this type of stuff. I found these, but I don't think I've had before. Maybe I'll have Chips Ahoy and Reese's. You know, just combining two different two different sugary things. Then I found some, uh... Oh, turn it around. I found some toilet paper. The packaging's ripped, but the toilet paper still should be fine. You can use it to clean up if you don't want to wipe your butt with it. Yeah, I need to get the stuff cleaned out of here, because... It feels kind of warm in this car already. It's a mess in here because, I, like I said, I found these boxes of candy. I could have the car cleaned out. I found all these, um, a whole bunch of these alcohol prep pads at CVS, too. So, <laughs> if I could reach it, sorry. This is the colon detox I was talking about. So... Just a whole bunch of Senna stuff. And then there's still the peppers and the danishes that I... Oh, there it goes. There's still the peppers and the danishes that I found at Aldi last night. So, that was kind of our score. There's just a lot of little... A whole bunch of these... Like, a lot of Oreo things. Most of these are probably going to get donated, but... Alright, well, thanks for checking out my messy car with me. Ugh. I'm going to get Maya back to, there you go. Need water? I think she wants to go in the backyard, actually. Open this up. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to close it because I'm going to keep her on her leash. Especially when these other dogs are outside. Because she has the tendency to want to attack back. She wants to be an aggressive little dog. She doesn't realize they're at least five times her size. She's ten pounds. They gotta be like fifty pounds. Oh yeah, that's just our mess from grilling. Okay. Ew. Don't, yeah, just anyway. 
We're just going to hang out in the backyard for a few minutes until she gets extra thirsty. Look at that. Now he's like over there sitting under the sitting on the porch waiting. Like I said before, our landlord acts like they don't even want to mow. And since we just won't rent a room, I mean, there is a lawnmower in this old shed, but since we just rent a room, we're not going to take my time, my energy, to do something for them. Like, chances are they're probably going to get a fine. They said that they that last year they got a notice, but nothing ever came of it. So they said so they don't care to. Ooh, watch out for the bee! Watch out for the bee! They said they don't care to mow it this year. So whatever. It's not my job. They've been. They've been putting us through hell anyway. They told us. They told us it was a certain set price a month for utilities between thirty and seventy dollars and. The first month we moved in here, we moved in on the 2nd of March, and on the 26th of March they sent us a bill for $150 for electricity and gas combined. And then when we said that we were told it was per room, oh sorry, when they told me, we said that they were told, they told us it was per room. They knocked it down to like $86, but still, that was way more than they said it was ever going to be. <sighs> There's a lot of crap that they've done that I could go into discussion, but we're already at like 17 minutes, so. I have other videos of where I'm talking about it. It was from a while back, but I should upload it soon. They just, they said, oh, we're going to have communication, but, yeah, this fucking mess. They said, oh, we're going to have communication, and, and, uh, so. <sighs> obviously, they don't know how to fucking drive. I guess we're going to keep walking. Maybe I can get my thoughts out. I didn't want to talk too loud because I don't know if they could hear me. But they said there's going to be communication. But yeah, they have random people moving in and moving them out. And then they have random people just coming to look at the place. Like they moved in their friend. Their friend ran up the electric bill. They moved out, and then they sent us a bill saying it was the third, third of the, third of the utilities, which we didn't even, we probably used like a tenth of the utilities. The person had like snakes, so they had the heat running all the time, and a, a radiator heater. And then the person stole our, stole a lot of our things, and they were putting them up on Facebook Marketplace for sale. And then when we told the landlord, they're like, "Oh, well, this is why I suggested in the in the lease that you should get renter's insurance." And it just pissed me off because it's like, so I'm supposed to pay more money and get renter's insurance for a room in a house because you allow your kleptomaniac friends to move in and steal my things, and you don't. They're like, "Oh, well." That's what happens when you lived in a shared environment. And just like, trying to play it off like we should have known we were gonna get our stuff taken or we should have had insurance. <coughs> insurance wouldn't have covered, like, they stole like $40 things. $40 up to like $100 and there's nothing you can really do.
one of the things was so stupid. It was like a dog bed that they tried. That the thing was, I get it. We didn't pay for it. It was from the dumpster. We got found a dumpster dive dog bed with a tag still on it, and we put it in the living room so the pets could be down there and relax on it. But when they lived here, they had a big ass pit bull. So and it had bit Maya. It bit my little dog. So we didn't go downstairs. We just stayed upstairs the whole time they lived there. <clears throat> so they used that opportunity to take that dog bed and try to sell it. Well, when they moved out, we found it downstairs. And it was covered in dog pee. Like, this person did not take their dog out or do anything. So they destroyed that. And our landlord expects that we're going to pay pay a whole bunch of money for April when they had this crazy person living with us. There's a lot more I could go into detail and I have the other videos when it was more recently going on. So what I need to do is just go inside and sit down and edit. Like right now this video is at 21 minutes and I should probably edit a little bit out of it. But I don't know. It's just easier just to throw it up real quick. But sometimes I stutter or don't say what I want to say. And I'm like, okay, should I just edit that part out? And that'll take a couple seconds out of there. But maybe it's not worth it. Here comes the truck. Stay over here. Okay, good girl. Alright, well, I don't know if you guys want to keep hearing that, hearing me complain. Probably not the best way to get people to want to watch, but that's just part of my life that's going on right now. And They sent us a request on PayPal for, basically, they sent us for $200, saying that it was a third of the rent for April and May. Although the post they put on Craigslist says that there's... It's a four-bedroom house, but it's not. It's two bedrooms, and then it's a bedroom upstairs. Then there's, like, a little makeshift bedroom down in the basement. And that's where they had that friend stay. So, my question is, if they have it as four bedrooms on Craigslist, shouldn't we be paying a fourth of it? But, you know, they're not going to... They're just going to keep screwing us over because they have that option. They're literally a few months younger than me. And they're able to have a house and whatever they want. Like, I guess their dad helped them buy this house. Must be nice. So, they get the opportunity to screw people over. That can't... Oh, there's a squirrel. It just pisses me off. Because at this point, I feel like I'm trapped. And like, we signed a year lease, and then if we move out, we have to pack up everything. But on honestly, like, also at this point, I'm ready to just start packing. And if I had a house, if I had my own house, my own yard, my own area where I could be safe, where I didn't have to worry about other people making me miserable... Like, I get we're going to have neighbors and anything, any type of situation, but it's not like that. It's like this person comes in at all hours in the night, so I always have to have the dog and the cat locked up upstairs because they can show up any time of night. And the cat likes to try to go outside. Well, usually when I come back in, I, I guess I've never shown that, but sometimes when I try to come back in, she's waiting for us at the door and tries to, starts to walk outside. So I'm worried about her getting let out. But yeah, I just wish, wish it wasn't so hard. And I know people be like, oh, go get a, go get a day job, go get a job, like an actual job, full-time job. But yeah, and then what? When I'm at work and a whole bunch of crap goes down, or Sierra has to go to a doctor's appointment, then what? Yeah, I'll be making money, but. Since my credit's still not the greatest, 
it's still going to take two years in order to be able to get a home loan. It's still going to take time. I get it, two years is going to pass no matter what, but it doesn't seem feasible right now to have to work a job that's working for someone else for a little amount of pay compared to what I could do on my own. Watch out for that sh I think that's poop. Ew. Come on. Come on. My hope is like... I get it, like, there's so many people out there trying to do YouTube and trying to do music and everything like that, but I really feel like I can be doing something more than just working a job for someone else. I really feel like I have more potential than just working, like, whatever. Anything that, right now at this point, to go, go get a job, the only thing I have for a degree is I'd have to find something in law enforcement. Well, that's not going to work out because now I have a medical marijuana card. And they don't usually hire people from, with medical marijuana. And they're not going to hire me as a police officer because I'm 270 pounds and have a bad credit. They want people to have like fairly good credit to become a police officer so you're not... Sorry, she's making me go around. So you're not uh, easily bribed, I'm guessing. And it also shows your responsibility. Which I get it. Being financially responsible is important, but I don't think it equates to being responsible with a gun and everything. So what I'm saying is the jobs I'd have to do would be jobs that don't require degrees, which, okay... I don't think I can, it's just not worth it, $10 an hour isn't worth it, to go have to be on a set schedule for someone else, and not be able to take care of my pets throughout the day, and take care of Sierra, and get her to the hospital if she needs to, and do her appointments. I know people are probably going to comment and try to change my mind, but it's that's just the way, it's, the way it is. I don't have any kids right now, but if I had kids, I definitely wanna, wouldn't want to be at work all day. So I need to get my financial situation figured out so that when that time comes, I can be home. Like, I'm pretty sure when we have kids, we're gonna... Well, I should say kid, because I don't know if we have more than one. But if we have a kid... We're gonna, like, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter, because we don't have a kid right now. I shouldn't be talking about it, but most likely homeschool and do, like, family field trips and things like that. All right. Ready to go inside? Stop. Be nice. Be nice. Come on. back home at our messy house. All this mess from that grill. But, um, alright, I'm gonna take Maya inside and get her some water, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a good day and being safe.